What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. Mm, fresh pop for our uh, freshest guest, Ray GQ. What is good? Man, I'm I'm feeling it, man. This is uh, I'm excited. Uh, it's draft week, baby. It's draft week, and you know we got the we got the the four dads on the mic, and the hot mic, and talking some wide receivers. So I'm excited, man. I'm doing well. I appreciate you guys having me on and uh, taking time out of your schedule to to have me on. I know you don't have a lot of guests often, and you chose for me to follow up. Waldman and Angelo so I think that's kind of a dick move but it's all good man I appreciate you guys having me on no pressure baby no pressure <laughs> hey pressure man pressure makes diamonds man I'm good I am a <laughs> Jay Wayne loves he, it when the soundboard he, guys, he's got battery power that yes. bone crusher that bone crusher yes. got you, you ain't never scared on, man it's high school shit yeah <laughs> All right, man. Well, we're going to hit you off with the same question we've been starting everybody off with, just kind of getting a little feel from, you know, who you are, where you came from, and why you do this. You know, all that kind of stuff always seems to get pushed away, and nobody ever really knows, and I feel like it's, you know, kind of important. And, and we, we've talked about it over time with our show, but when we get people on, I like to just, you know, have them tell us, you know, where you came from, who you are, and, and what drives you to, to do what you're doing. Yeah, man. Uh, just, you know, from Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, grew up there, went to high school there. Uh, coming out of high school, I got a, I had a couple of offers to some smaller Division One schools, UNLV, Boise State, before it became like a power that it is now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was kind of a knucklehead in high school and got into some trouble my senior year. But luckily, one of the position coaches at Boise knew this coach at Division II school in Nebraska that I had never heard of, Shadron State. So ended up playing football out there at Shadron State and one of my most recognizable teammates that you all probably know and everyone listening was Danny Woodhead. We were part of the same recruiting class. So, Danny Woodhead. Uh, played with Woodhead. Hopefully um, you don't have the same barber as that man because that dude was – something that <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you Danny is the he's the most humble dude man to like in from the first practice that I remember like playing against him I was like this kid is special and what position were you at I was a defensive back I was a cornerback so uh playing played against him quite a bit in practice um but I love football man I love college I love college football and uh, got into Dynasty probably about six or seven years ago. My first fantasy team, I had no clue what I was doing. I drafted all Dallas Cowboys. Like, I had no fucking clue. <laughs> Just I thought I had the best roster, right? Troy Hambrick and all these other crappy Cowboys. But um, what really kind of got me into, like, being an – analyst and I say that in air quotes because I really don't consider myself that I just like to entertain people and talk about football that's really what I'm doing like for sure I'm not and like I don't have and we'll get to the process stuff but I don't have all these fancy processes and models and all of that stuff I just talk football I watch football I, I feel like I'm a decent evaluator I feel like I understand the game a little bit and that's not to say that I know more than anybody else because I played but I know some of the shit that is talked about it really doesn't matter. Like when you're in practice and you're on the field, that stuff really doesn't matter. So um, I just, a year ago, I was like, I can do this better than a hell of a lot of other people who are talking about it. That's, That's exactly right. right. <laughs> so in February of 2019, I started tweeting some stuff out and some people were like, Oh, come write for me. And it was with dynasty nerds and DLF. And then uh, now I'm just like kind of, rocking with DLF and doing my own thing with the Destination Debbie, man. So I just, I love football and I love fantasy and the Dynasty format is, is really fun because you get to be that GM, right? And build That's your right. team and all that other good stuff. So it's pretty much it, man. Yeah. Well, if you haven't, if you're not up on the YouTube channel, make sure you go check that out. It's Destination Debbie, right? Yes, sir. Got to go check that out. He's killing it. Um, and the, what's the Twitter handle? Ray GQ, R-A-Y-G-Q-U-E, Ray GQ. If you're not already following that man, go ahead and, and get you some because he's he's tweeting out some good stuff. Sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, we're not big Twitter guys, but you're, uh, <laughs> you're, you're doing your thing over there. Yeah, and, yes, and 
if you if you're trying to watch any type of film, like definitely hit up that Destination Devi website. I mean, or, or YouTube page. I know you got you got your own podcast on there, the All Gas Show, and then you do the Destination Devi podcast that goes up there. But then you also got a bunch of All Twenty Twos, which is kind of a new thing. That like they're just starting to come out with this call with colleges. It was hard to find them in the past. And I gotta say, man, I gotta say thank you for highlighting the player that I'm trying to watch <laughs> because yeah. oh my god, there's some other All Twenty Twos out there, and like. I'm like trying to figure out who's got what socks on. Like I gotta like pause yeah. it yeah. and then like yeah. does he have turf tape on? Who's got where is he? God forbid he's yeah. moving all over the formation, you know, which usually I like, but now I'm like pissed off about like <laughs> so yeah, all twenty twos a lot of people try to charge an astronomical amount. If you're not a part of that all twenty two coaches film world, it's like it's crazy what people charge for that, and I'm giving away for free. So I yeah. uh, appreciate you checking it out, man. And anybody else who wants to watch some coaches film, I think it's the best way to, to evaluate players. Broadcast film is fun for entertainment, but when I'm scouting, I don't even use it yeah. when I'm looking at players. It just doesn't, it doesn't some, tell the whole story. Right. There's some different slow-mo replay on the broadcast. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, there's a couple of angles here and there that, that, that really do you in, but especially on, like, receivers, man. Like, they call hike. They zoom in on the quarterback. You can't see – what happened for yep. majority of the place is some, it's really hard to evaluate receivers a lot of the time, if you yep. can't get a hold of some of the all 22. So really appreciate that. Um, we'll keep it moving here. What, what, what's your process on evaluation? I know you just said you don't really have, which I, I feel you like, I really like that. We don't really necessarily have a model and a checklist and some wild system of anything. Not that we're knocking anything. Cause we just had Matt Waldman right. on here and he was basically super analytical with his film process, which was wild and how he just broke down all these little things and was saying how he charted Ahmad Bradshaw on a game where he had 1.9 yards per carry, but it, he charted him as having a great game just from all these little things that he did. And, that you know, that's not me, and that doesn't sound like it's you. So how how are you rolling? Respect the hell out of Waldman too, man. I'll say that and everybody else. Peter Howard, there's a lot of people out there that put in a lot of work with their process uh, me, I don't have that. I'm not going to do that unless I'm getting paid a nice penny to do that. I don't have the time. Like it's just not happening. Yeah, but I also I just my opinion and I'm not trying to like sound as elementary and one-on-one -on -one as possible, but football isn't that difficult, right? Like you can turn on the tape and you can see somebody play and be like, holy shit, this dude Any is play. legit. Right. Or he's okay. And then yeah. they go to the combine and you get a little more information on said player. It's to me, it's not rocket science. Like, uh, so my process, I watch college football religiously on Saturdays. I mean, I've got big 10 network subscription. I'm just like, I'm standing up in front of it and the screen has got like eight games on and I'm just kind of looking at everything. And then I go back and I, I, I'm so much of a college football nut. I have record games on Saturday that I want to see from smaller schools because I played D2. So right. I like to pay attention to the smaller mm -hmm. divisions. Um, and I'll watch them on Monday. I'll watch them on Tuesday. Like I'm watching college football every day of the week just about. But, I mean, I gather my opinions, right? Okay, Chuba Hubbard looked good last year. He's going to be on my board for 2019. And then in the summertime, slowly but surely, I dive into a little bit of the tape. Chip but I'm not, I'm not charting. I think the if you have the time, the best way to do that is to chart it, right? Look at what wide receivers do versus zone and man coverage. Look at what running backs do. There's different situations. Running on first and 10 is a hell of a lot different than taking a draw on third and 20 when there's three right. down linemen, one linebacker, and seven DBs, right? But I just don't have the time for that. So more so than anything, my process is I want to entertain you. I want to inform you on players that I like or I'm highlighting. And then you take that information back, do your own research and formulate your opinion on those guys. That's really what I do. That's you're scratching us right where we itch. We tell people all the time. That's what we talk about on Patreon a lot. Like, listen, I'm not here. You, I'm giving you my opinion, but I, I want to be here to just help you along in your process. I want you to do a little bit of work, give you my opinion, tell you what I think. And then you do it with it. What you like, I don't want you to be like, well, I got this guy ranked over this guy. So you have to take that guy. Like yeah. you're stupid. If you don't like, I mean, we're, we're, we're all about that life. So I, I, I like where your head's at here, man. I appreciate and, the, and uh, why and why do all that when you've got people out here who crunch the data and the numbers for you? Like, I don't, right. why, why am I reinventing the wheel? I, there's no point in Agreed. doing that. Like, I just want to entertain and inform. That's really what it boils down to for me. 
I agree 100 percent, man. And well, I'm, you and I'm to, right uh, a lot more than I'm wrong too. Just throw well, I mean that's got to be that's got to be part of it. And you know you can boil it down to whatever you want, but that's kind of how we stand and how we've been going for so long is that you know a professional gambler basically needs to hit 55 to 60 percent of the time. So you know you got to be over you got to be over 50 percent. And our track record stands as being a decent amount over 50 percent. You're not everyone is going to get shit wrong. Like right. I love plenty of guys that suck. I love Samaj P. Ryan. Where's he at? Like nowhere um not that i thought he got a fair shake necessarily <laughs> I mean, hey his, his uh his cousin's gonna bring us right back though michael <sighs> oh boy yeah hey, uh, real quick though ray i got another question on your process pos- yeah your process uh you've got the youtube channel you got your podcast you got all 22 cut-ups that you're doing you go on other people's shows you got a full-time job on top of all that you're a father of two boys when do you sleep man Dude, I don't. That's the crazy thing, man. I Like I thought about the other day, like I don't know when the last time I've been in bed before like 11 p.m. Like I'm just fucking up because I, I want to watch TV at the end of the day. I'm turning on Netflix. I want to watch The to Office and the Ozark and, you know, I've got my vices that I do at late night that I just, you know, I don't do around the kids. So I want some me time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you I got mean, to. You just... It's all for the people, man. It's all for the people. <laughs> and But I will say this. I, I always said that I'll do this as long as I'm having fun, right? When it feels like it's becoming a job and it's taken away from my boys, it's taken away from my wife, uh, then I'll stop. And that's why I'm up so late because I've got to spend time with them and give my wife some time. And then if I want to do this, then late night is when I have to work. So, yeah, yeah I, I don't really sleep. Got to grind you know, up, all, yeah. up all night to get lucky, like Pharrell say. You know, you gotta you gotta make your own luck, right? That's what that's what he's Absolutely. talking about, right? Mm. Yep. All right. Well, you ready to get on to uh, talking some actual football here? Let's do it, man. 